Hi everyone, I'm Russ Handler. You know, the universe is such an amazing thing to study. First of all, there's what's known as space and time. And I'll tell you what, they started studying this back in the ancients, building from a mix of insights from the historic debates of absolutism and conventionalism, as well as reflecting upon uh, the import of the technical apparatus of the general theory of relativity, relativity Details as to the structure of space-time have made up a large proportion of discuss discussions within the philosophy of space and time. The, and I'll tell you, the debate just goes on and on and on. That's a whole other story. Black holes, what are they? An object with such high gravity that not even light can escape. Imagine that. These may be formed when the most massive stars die and their cores collapse into super dense masses. That, my friends, is a black hole. Don't want to get stuck in that. Then there's the old neutron star. We've all heard of them, but what are they? They are a small, extremely dense star made primarily of neutrons with a radius of approximately about 10 kilometers. So neutron stars are relatively small. Well, a white dwarf, also another widely known scientific term, it's describing a dying star that has collapsed to approximately the size of Earth and is slowly cooling off, if you could imagine that. So if you're not an astronomer, I hope I've been able to help bring some insight into the questions that we just raised. I'm Russ Handler, and have a great day.